Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Felicia Ayers Allen was born on June 19, 1948 in Austin, Texas. Her mother Vivian Ayers is a Pulitzer Prize nominated actress, poet, playwright, scholar and publisher. Her father Andrew Arthur Allen was an orthodontist. Her siblings are brother Tex Andrew Arthur Allen Jr., a jazz musician, sister Debbie Allen, an actress, choreographer and director and brother Hugh Allen, now a real estate banker in Charlotte, North Carolina. Their parents divorced when Felicia was six, seven years later her mother mother moved with their two sisters to Mexico to avoid segregation in the United States. Ayers Allen later studied at Harvard University, graduating magna cum laude in 1970 with a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. While there, she was initiated with the Alpha Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Ayers Allen first became known for her stage work with a string of Broadway credits including Dina Jones in Dream Girls. She also was Cheryl Lee Rolf's understudy until leaving the show in 1982 after being passed over a Rolf's full-time replacement. She played a um, munchkin in The Wiz for three and a half years. In 1978, she released the album Josephine Superstar, a disco concept album telling the life story of Josephine Baker. The album was mainly written and produced by Jacquez Morali and Victor Phyllis, Rashad's second husband and the original lead singer and lyricist of the Village People. She met Willis while they were both cast in The Wiz. Other Broadway credits include August, Osage County, Cat on the Hot Tin Roof, Gem on the Ocean, Raisin in the Sun, 2000, for Tony Award for Best Actress in the Play, Drama Desk Award, Blue, Jelly's Last Jam, Into the Words, and I Ain't Supposed to Die in a Natural Death. Off Broadway credits include Lincoln Center's productions of Cymbeline and Bernanda Alba, Helen, The Story and Everybody's Ruby at the Public Theater, The Negro and Symbol Company productions of Puppet Play, Zoo Man, and The Signs, Sons and the Fathers of Sun, In an Upstate Mortal, Weep Not for Me, and The Great Mac Daddy, Lincoln Center's production of Ad. Bullens, the Duplex, and the Sirens at the Manhattan Theatre Club. In regional theatre, she performed as Euripides, Midday, and in Blues of an Alabama Sky at the Alliance Theatre in Atlanta, Georgia. Other regional theatres at which she has performed at the Arena Stage in Washington, D.C. are the Arena Stage in Washington, D.C. and the Huntington Theatre in Boston. In 1993, Rashad was the first narrator at Disney's Candlelight Processional when the event was moved to Epcot. Her narration of the Nativity story was was recorded and released by Walt Disney's Records in the early 21st century. Rashid was the first black actress of any nationality to win the Best Actress Play Tony Award for her 2004 performance as Lena Younger in the revival of the play A Racing in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. Rashid also won the 2004 Drama Desk Award for Best Actress in the play for A Racing in the Sun, tying Split Award that year with Viola Davis for the play. Intimate Apparel Rashid was nominated again for a Tony the following year for her performance in Gem of the Ocean. In 2007, Rashad made her directorial debut with the Seattle Repertory Theatre's production of August Wilson, Gem of the Ocean. In 2008, Rashad starred on Broadway as Big Mama in an all-African-American production of Tennessee Williams' Pulitzer Prize-winning drama Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, directed by her sister Debbie Allen. She appeared alongside stage veteran James Earl Jones' Big Daddy and Anika, Noni Rose, Maggie, as well as film actor Terrence Howard, who made his Broadway debut as Brick. In 2009, she appeared as Voice Violet Weston, the drug-addicted matriarch of Tracy Letts award-winning play August, Osage County at the Music Box Theater. Rasha returned to directing August Wilson's work in early 2014 when she led a revival of Wilson's Fences at the McCarter Theater in Princeton, New Jersey. It received generally positive reviews. She continued to focus on Wilson's work, including a well-received production of Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, which she directed at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles in late 2016. From March 17 to May 1, 2016, Rashad played the lead role of Scylla in Terrell Alvin McCraney's play Head of Passes at the Public Theatre. Her performance was positively reviewed. Rashad joined the cast of the ABC soap opera. One Life to Live to Play Public is Courtney Wright in 1983. She is best known for the role of attorney Claire Huxtable on the NBC sitcom The Cosby Show. The show, which ran from 1984 to 1999, starred Bill Cosby as obstetrician Health Cliff, Cliff Huxtable, and focused on their life with their five children. In 1985, Rashad co-hosted the NBC telecast of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with Pat Sajak and Bert Conway. When Cosby returned to TV comedy 1996 with CBS Cosby, he called Rashad to play Ruth Lucas, his character's wife. The pilot episode had been shot with Thelma Hopkins, but Cosby fired the executive producer and replaced Hopkins with Rashad. The sitcom ran from 1996 to 2000. That year, Cosby also asked Rashad to work on his animated television series Little Bill, in which the actress voiced Bill's mother, Brenda, until the show's ended 
2004, she also played a role in the pre-show of the dinosaur ride at Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom theme park as Dr. Helen Marsh, the head of the Dino Institute. Rasha plays Kill Moves' wealthy mother on Everyday Hates Chris on December 9, 2007. In 2007, she appeared as Winnie Guster in the Psyche episode, Gus Dad May Have Killed an Old Guy. She returned to the role in 2008 in the episode Christmas Joy. In February 2008, Rashid portrayed Lena Younger in the television film adaptation of A Racing in the Sun, directed by Kenny Leon. It starred core members of the cast of the 2004 Broadway revival at the Royal Theatre of Lorraine Hansbury 1959 play, including Eudra McDonald as Ruth Younger and scene comms as Walter Lee Younger. The television film adaptation debuted at the 2008 Sundance Film Festival and was broadcast by ABC on February 25, 2008. According to Nielsen Media Search, the program was watched by 12.7 million viewers and ranked number 9 in the rating for the week ending March 2, 2008. In November 2010, Rashid featured as Gilda in the ensemble cast in the Taylor Perry film For Colored Girls, based on the play For Colored Girls Who Have Conceded Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough by Tozaik Shang. Rashid said about this work in an interview with Vibe Movies and TV in 2010, I saw the original Broadway play. I thought it was amazing how such a story that was not pretty was poetry. Usually poetry is about lofty things and this was the poetry of speech and the movement of everyday people. I found a little bit of it off-putting to tell you the truth because it was so angry when I saw it. And I think Taylor Perry has added an element here that was not in the original stage production and that is the necessity for taking responsibility for one's own self otherwise you are just living to die. That is where he wrote the line in the film you gotta take some responsibility in this otherwise you are just living to die. In 2012 she starred in other Taylor Perry film Good Deeds. Also in 2012 Rashid played Clary Belcher in the remake of Steel Magnolias the role originated by Olympia Dukakis. This version has an all African American A-list cast including Queen Latifah as M. Lane, Jill Scott as Truvi, Condola Rashid as Shelby, Adip Hero O'Day as NLA and Alfrey Woodard as Ozer. In 2016, Rashid was cast as the recurring guest star in the role of Diana Du Bois in the third season of the Lee Daniels produced Empire television series on Fox. In 2017, Rashid portrayed Bishop Yvette A. Flunder, pastor of the City of Refuge Church in San Francisco, California as part of the Dustin Lange Black miniseries, When We Rise. Her appearance in the show highlighted the reputed comparison of the church, the commitment of its leadership and the loving home the church provides to minister in the tough, primarily African-American community in San Francisco. In 2020, Rashid provided the voice of Leba Gardner, Joe Gardner's mother in Pixar's Soul. In May 2021, Rashid was appointed as Dean of Howard University's Chadwick A. Boseman College of Fine Arts. In June 2021, her comments supporting the release of former co-star Bill Cosby from prison was criticized. Some called for Howard University to revoke her appointment and Howard University stated that personal positions of university leadership do not reflect Howard University's policies. Rashid later apologized in an email to Howard University students and their parents. In August 2023, Howard University announced Rashid is stepping down as dean at the end of the 2023 to 2024 academic year. Rashid's first marriage in 1972 was to dentist William Lancelot Bowles Jr. They had one son, William Lancelot Bowles III, who was born the following year. The marriage ended in 1975. Rashid married Victor Willis, original lead singer of The Village People in 1978. They had met during the run of The Wiz. They divorced in 1982. She married a third time to Ahmad Rashid on December 14, 1985. He was a former NFL wide receiver and sportscaster. It was a third marriage for each of them and she took his last name. He proposed to her during a pre-game show for a nationality televised Thanksgiving Day football game between the New York Jets and the Detroit Lions on November 28, 1985. Their daughter, Condola Falia Rashid, was born on December 11, 1986 in New York. The couple divorced in early 2001 and she has retained the surname. Rashid faced widespread criticism after she posted the following tweet in support of Bill Cosby after he was released from jail on the technicality. Finally, a terrible wrong is being righted. A miscarriage of justice is corrected. This support was characterized as rape apologism. Rashid is a vegetarian. Thanks for watching everyone. Please like, share, comment and subscribe.